survey, we asked the question of our respondents, what do you think will happen to the prime secondary yield gap in 2011? And we got a very interesting divergence of views, as you can see here. About 36% of our sample thought the gap is going to stay the same. This differential in pricing is going to be maintained. 27% thought the gap would narrow, but 37% thought the gap would widen. Some of the results are being slightly distorted by people's interpretation of what is secondary. Um, you, if you actually sort of uh, uh, ask the question about prime versus secondary and, and classify secondary as really quite poor quality property, shorter term less leases, uh, um, uh, poorer quality tenants, I think most, uh, most of the market would uh, take the view that perhaps there is further movement out of the, of the <coughs> sector. Whereas if you take a, a secondary uh, property and classify it as something actually that is uh, uh, actually good quality property, but it has one characteristic of either a shorter lease but uh, good quality property and good tenant, or it's uh, got a poor tenant in it, that market where it's sort of value add, uh, where people can add a additional value, I think we're actually seeing those yields contract, come in. So you could actually get the same, two completely opposite uh, answers to the same question, depending on your classification of secondary. So um, the, the general view seems to be that the, with the shortage of stock, we're seeing at the better end of the market a lot more demand uh, coming through, and therefore seeing much more uh, tighter yields <laughs> coming through. And at the prime end, I think there is, uh, with where, where interest rates are and gilts are, there is actually pressure even there to see perhaps yields tighten a little bit. <laughs> You can start seeing how the, the divergence of opinion coming <coughs> through there. And I, I suppose, again, you can also look at, uh, into the occupational market and uh, the pressure on rents that are coming through. And clearly, again, that, that's going to impact on value. And the further, more secondary you become, more concern there is about either releasing risk and also the levels of rents that will be achieved.